Well, all of us are talking about Eric Ten Hag. We're talking about Mauricio Pochettino, Luis Enrique, Julian Lopetegui. Who's going to be Manchester United's next manager? There's no answer to that one yet. But as well as bringing in a new manager this summer, we all know we need to bring in a new striker. You've got Cristiano Ronaldo, who's 37. You've got Edison Cavani, who's 35 and leaving on a free transfer. You've got Anthony Martial, who's been loaned out to Sevilla. You've got Marcus Rashford, who couldn't hit a barn door. And Mason Greenwood now doesn't exist. Uh, Manchester United need a new striker. Harry Kane, is he the name on top of the list? According to The Athletic, he is. And in this video, I want to explain exactly why I've got such a big problem with that. All right. Harry Kane might be the greatest, one of the greatest strikers ever in the Premier League. Might be the best striker right now in the Premier League. But I don't want Manchester United to go anywhere near him. In this video, I want to explain exactly why. Please consider subscribing by the end of the video. Always give a plug at the start. Just go down there, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Hit the notification bell as well. You get a ding every time I go live with a video. Like this one here on Harry Kane. Now, for so many of you, Harry Kane might be top of that list. 28, one of the best strikers that has ever been in the Premier League. I'll run through his, uh, his stats soon. But this story is coming from The Athletic, okay? That's why there's credence to this story. That's why there's sort of momentum behind the idea to the point where I want to have a conversation about it. If it was, I don't know, like the sun on the mirror or anything like that, I wouldn't really say too much about it. But it's come from Laurie Whitwell and it's coming from The Athletic. They're saying here, right there, that Harry Kane is atop the list of strikers that Manchester United are interested and linked with for this summer. Let's read that in a little bit more detail. We go down here. It said, Harry Kane would be prime among the thoughts at Old Trafford a year on from the initial conversations that took place between Woodward and Levy. And if we go in a little bit more detail, we see this inside the article. That Manchester United want to sign Harry Kane regardless of who is in charge next season. And I swear to God, that makes me want to slap myself. Not slap myself. I don't know what it makes me want to do. What it makes me do some dumb stuff. Because I did this straight after. Of course, I couldn't resist to get a Chris Rock and Will Smith meme in. Come on. It's going to be Twitter all day. Enjoy it. But look, me talking about United being smarter in the transfer market, buying younger, building a team, slapped in the face by the idea that Manchester United might just go out and sign £100 million plus 28-year-old Harry Kane. Now, as I said, on paper, these are his stats. Look at that. 12 goals maybe this year, but look, 23, 18, 17, 30, 29, 25, 21. Over here, we got his, um, his overall record. Let's zoom in on that bad boy. Well, I can. Premier League record, Harry Kane. Look at that. 273 appearances, 178 goals and 39 assists. 207 goal involvements in 273 appearances in the Premier League is absolutely phenomenal. Harry Kane is, I would probably argue, the best striker in the Premier League still. Has been the best striker in the Premier League for the last like four or five years overall and would be a fantastic signing for any club that wants him really but it's the semantics of this statement there Manchester United want to sign Harry Kane regardless of who is in charge next season and as I said that just makes me angry Man United need to turn the page start a new chapter and that doesn't mean going out and spending a hundred plus million on a marquee striker simply because it's the name. Doesn't matter who the manager is. Doesn't matter whether or not that player is going to suit the new manager. And look, I know on paper, realistically, Ben Hag's going to want Kane. And Poch wanting Kane is a rhetorical question. Of course he'd want Kane. They both probably would want him. But the idea that he currently tops it, that whole list should be scrapped. According to what manager comes in, which is why we need to get it done and over the line quickly. Because look, I don't need to do this list. But I'm going to do it anyway with you. Because Manchester United have largely been abysmal in the transfer window for such a long time. We go back to the first season after Fergie. We, we shat ourselves in the summer, so we got Fellaini for more than his, rele his release clause because that expired a couple of weeks earlier. So then we signed Wan Mata in January. I'm going to put Wan Mata down as a success. If I, like, okay, you might disagree with that one. I'm, I'm definitely going to put him down as a success. Go up here. Angel Di Maria, 70 million. Crap. Luke Shaw, 33 million. I'll probably put that down as a, as a success, even if it has had ups and downs. And the Herrera, uh, 30 million in the in the grand scheme of how bad our, most of our signs have been. I'll probably put a success. Marcus Rojo for 18 million. 
18 million is not too offensive a price, but I'll probably put him down as a failure. And Daily Blind is 15 million. We should absolutely have not sold Daily Blind. And Falcao, we paid 7 mil for a loan fee. That was a gamble which didn't pay off, rather than being any sort of major failure. The year after, well, it may well be 50 million down the drain with Anthony Martial by the end of it. Uh, Schneidlin, that was a bit an abysmal failure. Memphis, failure. Darmian, I mean, by the grand scheme of things compared to them, a success. Schweinsteiger, we should have signed him six years earlier. Fast forward a year after, Paul Pogba, I'm putting that down as a failure overall, certainly according to the price tag. Mkhitaryan, another spectacular failure for 40 million. You see where the theme's going here, people. Eric Bailly, yep. I put him down as a middler. And Ibrahim Rich was a success, in my opinion. Probably one of the most successful ones we had. Go forward another year. Lukaku, 76 million. Failure. Matic, 40 million. Success. Lindelof, 30 million. Success. Sanchez, spectacular failure for a player who never really wanted play to play for the club, really, let's be honest. Go forward a year. Fred, 50 million. I'm putting that down as a success. Diogo Delo, 20 million. A success. Lee Grant, he's not a footballer. For a fast forward a year. Maguire, 80 million. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Bruno Fernandes, 56 million, massive success. Wan Bissaka, 50 million, failure. Daniel James, 16 million, great success. We made a big profit on him. Loan fee, for, we paid 10 million in a loan fee for a guy like that. Blows my mind, that really does. And then we go forward another year. Donny van der Beek, currently a spectacular failure. Hopefully that changes. Ahmad Diallo, we don't know. Tellez, I'm probably going to put him down as a failure, but he only costs 13 mil, so it's not the end of the world. And then look, we've got Jaden Sancho here, success. Varane, I would say hopefully success. And Ronaldo, well, we can have an argument and debate about that all day long. But you see the pattern here. Hmm? Failures everywhere. Spectacular, big name, failures. Big money, failures. Manchester United this summer do not have the amount of money that we need in this transfer window to go and sign Harry Kane for 100 million and sort our midfield problems. It's so much more important that we sign proper top level central midfielders, change the whole engine of this team, the middle of this team, before we then go to think about spending 100 million on Harry Kane. What we should be doing is exactly what I said on Twitter. We should be going and looking out and looking at signing younger players. There's two names that are going to be on that list, I think. There's probably more than two names, but two names that stand out. Darwin Nunez, of course, from Benfica. And Eric Ten Hag, we know all about him, given that Benfica and Nunez knocked. Ajax out of the Champions League. Another name on the list is Christopher Nkunku. He'll be worth around at least 24 years old. I believe Nunez is 22 years old, 21, 22. These are the sorts of ages of signings that we need to be making. We have to switch our model, right? We can't be going after 28, 29 year olds. Look, on paper, Harry Kane could brilliantly work out for Manchester United. He could come to the club, score 20 to 30 goals for two, three, four years, depending on injuries and depending on fitness. Could be a major success at Manchester United. But it's not the signing that we need at this moment in time. And what suits one club might not suit another club. Kane to City will be a perfect club, perfect situation and a perfect club for him right now. But Kane to Man United, regardless of whether we get Pochettino or not, it, it can't happen. It shouldn't happen. And I hope it doesn't happen. Man United this summer, I think if we're being completely realistic as United fans... We're going to be spending in the region of 100 to 150 million in total when you add in all the sales that we make because Pop is leaving, obviously not selling him. Pop's leaving, wages freed up. Lingard's leaving, wages freed up. Cavani's leaving, wages freed up. Between the three of them, there's enough wages for like two, three, maybe four really good players without having to actually sell anybody. And then you've got the likes of Mata, who's probably leaving, Matic maybe, what's going on with Diogo Delo. There's loads of conversations to have. But there's no way that United are going to go out, spend 100 million plus on Harry Kane, and then spend another 100 million on two or three other big signings to bolster that squad. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the Glazers will go back to their old school strategy of spending more when they're outside of the top four to get that fabled top four finish. As far as they're concerned, it's fabled anyway. And for me, just the Harry Kane, and the, it's that semantics, that idea there that regardless of who comes in, we're going to go and drop 100 million on Harry Kane. That blows my mind, that concept of it. Manchester United need to start planning as a football club. It should absolutely matter who comes in as manager because that player, like any, Harry Kane, like any other player, would suit certain managers more than others. Imagine we go and spend 100 million on him. 
the Ten Hag and the pot and the Poch situation, for some reason, both of them fizzle out, and we go and sign Luis Enrique, and he doesn't want to sign. And he doesn't want to sign. He doesn't want to play him. I don't think that's the case. I think Kane, Kane would pretty much fit in every team. But still, the idea that Man United, it feels like madness, the idea that Manchester United are going to, regardless of who comes in, just drop 100 million on a marquee signing. 100 million that could sign two top level central midfielders that could completely and utterly transform this team. Bullshit to the marquee signings, man. If we had signed, if we had spent Jaden Sancho's money on central midfielders, our season would have been completely different. Now, Jaden Sancho is an incredible player, certainly improved our attack, and I'm happy we've got him. But I'm saying it's about prioritizing. 100 million plus on a big name signing. That's not our priority. Signing smart. Signing correctly. Improving the quality and, and the age of our squad. Bringing it down a bit. Can't be having a front a two partnership of who are the combined age of 72. Can't even get it out. It just makes me angry. The idea that Manchester United will just go out and spend 100 million plus on a player. Without him really consulting what the manager wants. Now, you might disagree with that. You let me know in the comments below. As I said, this is not a slight on Harry Kane. I think he's an, I don't need to tell you he's an incredible player. But I don't think it's the right signing for Manchester United. Not what we need to do this summer. Not as a club. All right? We're not in the position of City where they just need a striker to come in and then they're basically, their squad's complete. A far bigger job. And we need to spread that cash out instead of going big on one. It hasn't worked out with Di Maria. It hasn't worked out with Schneiderlin. With so many big signings we've made, man. I have to start buying smart and spreading. Not just dropping big on one. That's my opinion. You, you let me know what you think in the comments below. But I think it's utter madness if we sign Harry Kane for 100 mil. I really, really do. I want to know what you think, though.